Seeking to protect the integrity of the very foundation of our democracy, our system of voting, Pennsylvania has joined 15 other states to require that citizens present a valid, non-expired photo ID before casting their vote in either a primary or general election. We, the people who cast our votes to choose who are going to govern us, deserve to make sure that we have integrity in our election process. And how else can you do that other than to ensure when somebody votes, they are who they claim to be? Across the country, each election season brings reports and criminal prosecutions of illegal voting, either individuals voting under a fictitious name, voting multiple times, or stealing the vote of others, even deceased persons, by assuming their identities. We have demonstrated uh, through numerous instances that we have a problem with voter fraud in Pennsylvania. Voter ID is the first step in a, in a larger process to protect the voting process. The new law accepts a number of different forms of ID as valid, including driver's licenses, military IDs, college IDs, or those from long-term care facilities. The State Department of Transportation says that 99% of voting age adults in Pennsylvania already possess photo IDs. Those who don't may, under the new law, get a free ID from PennDOT. If we were suppressing the vote or disenfranchising someone, it would, be, it would affect Republicans as well as Democrats, and, and no one wants to di disenfranchise anyone, so I think it's a false argument. If people really want to feel secure that their vote actually counts and is not being nullified by someone who's voting more than once or is not eligible to vote in this district and, and happens to be voting through false registration or whatever means. So this is, this is one step. As I say, there'll be other steps coming to ensure the integrity of the process. While the new law takes effect immediately, voters in April's primary election will still be able to vote without a photo ID, but they will be reminded that for all subsequent elections, voter ID will be required.